Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode, we uh, did some contracts for Modrin and Coral and were, was sent out to uh, see the status of a mission that the Guildmaster's son went on. And uh, sadly, we found Guildmaster's son, Vilanus Daunton, I believe his name was, uh, dead along with like 20 other Fighters Guild members. Apparently, they got into an ambush by the Blackwood Company. And the Blackwood Company retreated, but the wounds were too much, and they all died. But now we're back in uh, Anvil, just doing some more side contracts. We gotta go find Azan in here. Who, uh... Can I help he's probably upstairs. I don't know why I waste time looking for him down here. I think I found him down here once. But only once. Hi there. Sometimes he's on this floor, but usually only when he's sleeping. There he is. Here for more work, are you? I've got one last contract for you. First, though, a bit of bad news. Orain spoke with Velena about your last mission. She didn't take the news well. Orain has been expelled. And I'm sorry to do this, but you've been demoted to Defender. You'll be fine, though. Excuse me? So, I did a contract for the guild and found out the status of her son for Modrin. Modrin, who sent her son on the contract in the first place, I can understand him getting expelled. But I found out the status of her son and she demoted me? Excuse me? Look, I can't promote you. Not now. You'll need to get some contracts completed and then I can do it. What a load of barnacles. I've only got one more thing on my plate for you, but it's an important one. The Stone of St. Alessia has been stolen from Bruma Chapel. Alright, tell me about the stone. I don't know if you're religious, but a lot of folks are. And the stone is important. Talk to Sirach in Bruma. He'll fill you in on the details. Alrighty then, I guess we're going to Bruma. Let's uh, head downstairs. Yeah, it's kind of BS if you ask me that they demote you just for going on the contract. Which, I mean, I know it's story related. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. But let's see. I think if all goes well, we should be able to finish up all the side contracts in today's episode. Then next episode, we should be able to finish up the Fighters Guild. So it's looking good. Greetings, my friend. You must be from the Fighters Guild. We appreciate your help. Uh, tell me about the stone. It said the stone was blessed by Alessia herself. And while it remains in our possession, no harm may come to our church. The relic was stolen from us not long ago. A group of men was seen leaving the chapel the night the stone was stolen. We believe they were bandits. Bandits, huh? From all accounts, there were four or five of them, and they've been seen heading east on the road. Please, find the Stone of St. Alessia. Alright, well, uh, let's go find this stone. Find the stone please. They're gonna be holed up in an alien ruin, I believe. Unless we gotta go find them on the road first. That might be the case. But let's just run this way real quick. Got a green marker here, at least. And we move pretty fast, so it doesn't matter. Hey there, buddy. I hate my life. Same. So I assume you're the one who's been sent to track us down. Damn stone was more trouble than it was worth. Uh, why do you want the stone? We stole it. I won't try to hide that now. I'm all that's left now, though. We may have stolen the stone, but we weren't the last ones to do it. The lot of us got jumped by a bunch of ogres. Partial to pretty gems, it seems. I'm the only one that survived. If you want the stone, head to Cedar. 
All right, Cedor. It's not far from here. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Now just leave me. Okay, so it seems the bandits that stole I... the stone all died from ogres. And it looks like we have already explored this Cedor place, it seems. Which is weird. Why do I have this place discovered? That is very weird. I mean, I can understand it being on the map. But, like, it wouldn't be fast travelable to if I hadn't already explored it, you know? Do I have my spell for this? I do. Lame. Okay, wait, I came through here. And I'm going up? Okay, that's a little different. Let's uh, just see what we can find going through here, I guess. We got ogres. Come on, buddy. Just tell me where the stone is. And you won't have to die. JK, you're gonna die anyway. You'd just make it a lot easier on yourself if you gave me the stone first. We got some Welkin stones. Those are nice, but not the kind of stone we want. Oh, we got two ogres here. Boris isn't doing a lot of damage here. This might be a job for our sword. And we are staggering a lot from these guys. And I mean a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, there's one. There's the other. Okay. Take the ogre's teeth because you never know if we'll be able to use it in some alchemy. And uh, I have no idea where the right path is here. So I'm just kind of going in. Another ogre in here. A savage ogre. These are savage ogres. Which might be why they're a little stronger. But that's another one down. Another one bites the dust. Okay, that was a dead end. I think we might be, well that might be towards the end, but uh, we can't go that way, so let's backtrack a lot. Back to this room here. It looks like it's right through there that we gotta go. So let's go the other way first, naturally. What's the local map look like here? very confusing honestly okay so I haven't been up there yet back up we go is there anything up here anything at all oh yeah there's a savage ogre over here staggers me twice three times four times five times that was five times in a row by the way if you weren't paying attention
Oh my goodness, dude. He has me locked in this tiny area where he just repeatedly staggers me. I hate it. Got a hard lock on this cask. There we go. 57 gold. Nothing else. Let's uh, hop back over this way. I think we are almost done with this ruin. Keyword almost. Got another ogre here to stagger us a bunch. is down. Some strong potions, nothing in here. We have one more offshoot, then I think we're going to the main rune where the uh, stone is. Maybe. I can't actually... Yeah, I can. I can go this way. Come on, man. You're almost dead. I said you're almost dead. You're almost dead. Can I finish you without a single stagger more? There we go. It's getting a little bit ridiculous a little bit. There's not even a chest or anything in this room. Which makes it a little bit of a waste. Alright, let's uh, head to that main room then. Because again, I believe that's all that's left. Um, wait, what? That pressure pad didn't unlock this. Did it unlock the other way in? I'm confused. Let's go around this way. And up here. Okay, it did unlock the other way. That's weird, but okay. And that unlocks that. Interesting. Okay, well, we made it in. There's not a, another ogre in here. Just the stone. And it looks like we are good to get out of here. Alright, easy as that. We almost died from this dungeon. Or better put, we almost had to heal in this dungeon. Our health is pretty low. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. All right. So let's fast travel back to Bruma East Gates. Turn this bad boy in. Well met. Hello. Have mercy. And hopefully maybe get an advancement from this so we advance back up to our rank. What have you found? Have you brought back the stone of Saint Alessia? I have it right here. Ah, you found it. I can't thank you enough. Your work is greatly appreciated. Here, take these. I wish I could give you more. All right. So he does give us three strong potions of healing for that. Which I guess helps with how much damage we took, but it's all healed by now anyway, so... Let's just fast travel back to Anvil. And, uh, turn in the contract itself. Oh, and see, Azan's back in the first floor again. You look like someone who's comfortable. What's the status of the Stone of Saint Alessia? 
Have you returned it to Sirak yet? I have. Well done. You've put in good work for me. I only wish I had more. Things are a little mean right now, as I'm sure you know. Here's your payment. All right. I've got nothing more for you, my friend. I believe Burrs has one further assignment, but that is all. I wish you luck. And luck. I no promotion. Lame. That's the last time we'll be talking to Azan. That was his final contract. No more going to Anvil for contracts. So let's head over to Shaden Hall now. I believe Burrs Grokosh has two more contracts for us. Which sounds alright to me. Let's just jump on over down the street. You look like someone who's comfortable in into the fighters guild. He's probably sleeping right now. He is. I assume you're back for more work because I don't see a big need to chat with you. Uh yeah, what do you got? I've got more for you. Important stuff actually. You need to go talk to Lord Rugdumpf. Lord Rugdumpf. He's an orcish noble, a fine man. Our families go back a bit. Anyway, his daughter is missing. Head to his estate and talk to him. Find his daughter and mind your manners. I don't want you embarrassing me. All right. What about La Lady Rogbutt? A fine model of an orcish woman. Now go find her and don't be rude or she'll rip your ears off. Sounds like my kind of woman. Go help Lord Rogdum and wipe that smile off your face. Alright, so I think we already have his estate. No, we don't. We don't have his estate, but it's pretty close to Azura's shrine. So let's fast travel there and just walk. Now this one should be a pretty quick and easy contract. We just gotta talk to this guy, then we gotta find his daughter. It's not gonna be going into any cave or anything, which is nice. He just lives in this random house in the middle of the wilderness. Which, I mean, I won't judge, I guess. It's a little weird, though, not gonna lie. Don't mind me taking damage because I'm jumping way too high. Alright, Lord Rugdump's estate. Hey, buddy. Speaketh you on. Ah, you are from the Fighters Guild, I resume. Good show. I am Lord Rugdump Groshergak. Let us conversate on the Lady Rogbutt. Uh, Lady Rogbutt. I fear that while stout rock picking, she was apprehensive. Stolen away. My suspension is that ogres have objected her. Please search to the east of my sprawling abode. They have been known to vacate these premises. I am most gracious and truly woeful. All right, what about these ogres? Horrible creatures, replete with horror and evil. They roam freely eastward of the estate. I look forward to you exterminizing them. All right, so it looks like we're dealing with Preceded more ogres. Urgent -like. Key here is we gotta rescue his daughter. They aren't far off from the estate. So uh, let's check our durability on stuff real quick. Okay, all of our armor is broken. I love that. Uh, let's just repair everything. As we do. That would be why we were taking so much damage. We also got a level up ready for us. From doing this. That's nice. Come on. There we go. Right, what's our armor skill at? 86. It's going to be topped out soon. I love it. I don't want to discover whatever this cave is over here. I'm going to give it a wide berth. Here are the ogres. It looks like there are three of them. Let me just pull out my sword for this because uh, I don't want to deal with that. Oh, they are very strong, actually. Even with the sword. This is the you fall down and bleed to death. 
There's one. There's two. And the third one should be dead. Make sure to pull out all their teeth. There we go. Lady Rogbutt Grashurgok. Glad you killed those things. I'd have done it myself, but apparently that's not ladylike. <laughs> let's get back to my father. All right, well, let's escort her back. It's just, uh... Apparently Please, I didn't actually discover the estate. Which is weird, but I mean, I can't fast travel to it, but it's right here, so. There we go, now I've discovered it. The discovering point is like way off far from the house itself for whatever reason. We, you found my belabored daughter. I will tell Burr's Grogash about your indentures. Take this. It has been passed in my family for many generators. All right, and he gave us most soon again rug dump soon. sword. Is this a ebony sword? What is this? It's a two-handed sword. I don't like it. Let's uh, just head back to Shaden Hall and turn in this contract. It's almost daytime. We have one more contract after this, and all the side stuff see. will be done. And if I still have time this episode, then I think we might go ahead and finish up our shade and all house. I bet you're quite the acrobat. You need to go find Lady Rogbutt, Meat. Why are you standing here talking to me? Uh, I found her. You got her back in one piece. Good work. I've always liked that girl. May have to look her up sometime. Here's your payment. All right. Advancement? You've done good work, and you deserve better than your current rank. I'm restoring your previous rank of Guardian. Congratulations. All right. We have re-promoted ourselves to Guardian. I've got one more for you, Meat. I assume you can handle it. I need you to investigate some disappearances at Harlan's Watch. Disappearances? Some folks are missing in Harlan's Watch. We've been contracted to find out what's happened. Speak to Durana Thelis for all the details. Get going. All right, before I do that, let's sleep Stop here with... and level up real quick. Uh, let's see, we will put stuff into agility, personality, and speed. You have ascended to level 29. Okay. So, uh, Harlan's Watch. We haven't discovered it, but it's really close to Shaden Hall. Looks like it's literally just down the road from it. It's already on our compass. If it wasn't foggy, I'd already see it in the distance. I'm pretty sure. And... Here it is, yep. We're looking for Jorana Thelis, right? It's been horrible. Horrible. It's we need you yeah. familiar. Hello. You're from the Fighters Guild, I presume. It's good that you've arrived. We need your help with some disappearances. Disappearances, huh? Some folks reported seeing strange lights near the old swampy cave. We sent folks to investigate them, but haven't seen them since. We need help. Strange lights. They started appearing a few nights ago. Odd, flickering lights. In the morning, there was nothing to see. But they were there at night. All right, well, uh, let's go What's check out this swampy cave. Looks you. 
looks like it's down by the lake over here. Should be one Nern route around it. So we gotta make sure and find that. Trying to take a wide berth and avoid this other cave. As I do. There's a landmark over there. Hop to this rock. And down we go. We got Will-O-Wisps. I love that. As you know, they are one of my favorite enemies. Let's see how much of our stats they drain this time around. At least at this point, all of our weapons can damage them. That's one good thing. But that means this entire cave is probably going to be filled with them, which I hate. Where's this Nern root at? Here it is. There we go. I think that puts us at 20 Nern Root, meaning we need 10 more for the next step of our uh, Nern Root quest. Alright, so Swampy Cave. I think it's a one zone cave, which works for me. We got a Swamp Troll here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Boris so we can keep leveling up our Blunt. Use our spell to unlock this. And let's get going. Further down into the cave. Another swamp troll. And there it goes. Another hardlock chest, too. My favorite. Okay, 56 gold. Uh, we will go left first, because that doesn't look like the right way. We got two swamp trolls guarding a chest in here. And they are dead. Inside the chest is a couple of potions. Alright, let's go the correct way. Let's check our map real quick, make sure we aren't missing anything. Oh, uh, there is a second zone to this, it looks like. I love that. Okay. Oh. I see the quest marker and a bunch of dead skeletons and bodies. I found the corpses of the townsfolk that are missing. It looks like the trolls have been feeding on the people weakened by the will of the wisps. I should make sure to clear out all the remaining trolls. Okay, well, uh, let's get clearing then. Get all the bone meal from uh, these skeletons first. Did I get that one? I think there's a third skeleton here that I didn't loot. But it won't let me loot it. Oh well, it's just bone meal. No biggie. Let's continue down through the cave. Two more trolls here, one is already dead. This other one is staggering me a lot. But it is down.
in the chest. Gold diamond ring and 60 gold. And we are going to the next zone here. Swampy Cave Dry Rock Run. Oh, we got three trolls in here. Two of them are already alerted to our position. One of which is already dead. Oh, come on, man. There we go. We're going to have a lot of troll fat from all of this. Let's uh, go around the edge here. Make sure there aren't any chests hiding about. Like that one, but let me check over here first. Goes further into the cave. Kill this guy. Hit me. Hit me. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. Quit prolonging it by staggering me. Okay. Uh, up or down? I will probably have to go both ways. So let's go up first. We aren't looking for anything specific here. We're literally just clearing the cave of trolls. Why is this troll trying to walk away from me? There we go. Hard lock chest. And it contains 64 gold. Uh, left or right? Let's go right. Come on, man. I don't understand why I'm feeling the staggering so much tonight. But, like, it's happening a lot. Maybe it's because I'm fighting, like, physically stronger enemies. I think all I've fought in this episode are ogres and trolls, so... I guess that makes sense. I'll, uh, open this chest after I'm done with this troll. Come on, man. You're almost there. Why do they always gotta stagger me one more time before I kill them, too? Like, right when they're about to die, they get one last stagger in. Come on. Now the lockpick isn't working. There we go. Seventy-two gold. Mm, okay. Uh, this is an exit right here. So, uh, maybe we went the wrong way. Let's go the other way that we missed real quick. In fact, if we go back to the first room, we should be able to loop around close enough. Let's go ahead and put Boris up so we move a little faster. As we're backtracking. Oh yeah, let's not go there. Let's loop back to the first room. And then down in this hole, there was an, a way here. And a chest I missed. Come on. All with the lock picking. There we go. Helmet of the Drowned will take it. There's some good stuff in that chest. I like it. And we got another troll here. More troll fat. 
That was the last of the trolls. According to our quest objective, at least. So at this point, it should just be looting and getting out of here. If the lockpicks let us. If the lockpicks... There we go. God, I hate lockpicking so much in this game. It is the worst sometimes. Especially at this point where they pretty much only throw hard lock chests at me. Every chest I unlock is an ordeal. We should be just about to the end here. Climb up here. And we have looped back to this room. So let's see. We're going to go through here to find that exit that we found. Up here, cast all the skulls on sticks. And up to the door. Alright. Oh, there's a Nern route right outside it too. How convenient. mud crab here wouldn't have let me fast travel so I had to kill it all right let's go back to Harlan's watch talk to uh Jorana please see if you can't find our friends who have disappeared oh no you believe trolls killed them that's horrible good that you killed all of the trolls though please take this with our gratitude and there we go. Now we just got to go turn the contract into Burr's Grokosh. And that will be it for all the contracts here in Shadenhall. After Hi. this, I believe we are heading back to Coral. Hello. Not for the Guildmaster, Hello. though. I think we're going back for Modrin, who is expelled. I don't know. I can't remember how this next part works. You're supposed to be helping out the folks at Harlan's Watch. What's the status? You were supposed to check out those disappearances at Harlan's Watch. What's the status? Uh, okay, they're, they're done. Trolls, huh? And drawn in by Will-o'-the-Wisps? There's some lousy luck for you. Well, here's your payment. Afraid to say, I don't have any more contracts for you. I don't think Azan has any either. You did pretty good work, Meat. Uh, advancement? You've cleared every contract we've got on the books. That's some good work. You're now promoted to champion of the Fighters Guild. You outrank me now, so there's certainly no more I can do for you. You might check with an old friend of yours, though. Rumor has it that Orion's looking for you. You didn't hear it from me, though. Good work and good luck. All right. So we now outrank Goodbye. both Burr's Grokosh and Azan. But it seems our old friend Orion is looking for us. We're going to do that next episode, but before I end you. off, let's do our normal Breathing. potions, selling, making. Let's buy the rest of the Shaden House Hall. Shaden, Shaden House Hall? Yes, Shaden House Hall. Potions first, though. Bone meal. Crab meat. Okay. Um, ogre's teeth. Ectoplasm. Anything with the troll fat? No. I think that's about it. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Let's do business. Okay. Um, we're going to keep Rug Dump Sword, even though it's not great. We'll store that at our waterfront house. We need to repair, like, all of our armor again. I hate that. Sell That's all of this. And yeah, we definitely have more than That's enough to finish this house now. 
sell four of these. Sell all of these weak potions. And all of this random stuff. That's a fi That's a an four Welkin stones. Some gems. That's a good That's and there you we got go. A great deal there. Let's see, we are gonna buy the house lower wall hangings, the house sitting area, the house storage area, the house study area, the house upper hall area, the, and the house upper wall hangings. That is everything for the Shaden Thank House you Hall. For your patronage. That quest is now complete. Let's go check out our digs. Hi there. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump, quite literally, down the road here, over the fence. Oh, and this place is looking very nice, very homey. I like it. Take some of the food we find in here. Maybe make some more potions out of it. I think this is the storage area, maybe? Yeah, I can't tell you what is what here, honestly. I don't know. Because I bought so much at once and I can't remember what I had. But I don't think that matters too much. But yeah, it's looking nice and homey. Let's go ahead and make a, a few more potions with the food we just got. An apple, the bread loaf, and the troll fat, corn. Used a single troll fat from that. It was worth it. Lettuce with taproot. Onion. And a potato. I think that's everything. Uh, so the next house we're going to work on is actually over in Anvil, I believe. And it is the cheapest house to get in the game. You do have to do a quest for it, though. But I mean, it should be fine. I'm looking at the house prices right now. And we have almost enough gold just to get the rest of the houses. Almost. But uh, I don't know how I want to fit those into my, my little quest schedule right now. I think right now I just want to finish up the Fighters Guild. So let's fast travel over to Coral. To the south gate this time and I think we will end it off here in between episodes I'm gonna repair up my armor and everything else again and uh, we will pick up here as we go and see our old friend Orain Modrin thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then bye bye